The following program is sponsored by the Building Wisconsin Television Network. Welcome to another project here on Building Wisconsin. I'm Stuart Keith and we're out at a residential bath remodeling project near Brookfield, Wisconsin. So let's get started with Don Wilson from Forth Wilson Plumbing and Remodeling. Don, looks like you and your crew are well on your way, at least with the demolition aspect of this bathroom remodeling project. That's right, Stuart. What we have here is a 40 to 45 year old home. They've asked us to come in and remove the tub and remove the tile walls, put in some new plumbing and make it uh, more accessible for their needs. We're putting in a walk-in tub. In this case here, we're taking out everything right down to the studs to update the electrical, the plumbing, and of course, obviously replace the tub and the tile floors and uh, the sinks with it as well. Boy, you touched on so many different aspects right there in the first minute of the segment here. And, and that's a good overview for a viewer today. How much actually goes into a bathroom remodeling project? It sounds so simple on the surface, sure. but there's a lot of different trades that are involved. There's a lot of different trades and a lot of different guys have to be coordinated to get it in there. Typically with a complete bath remodel, we have all the trades, so what we like to do is we have the plumber involved and the tile man involved in the demolition and or a floor cover, whatever that may be. And then the plumber comes in, he spends most of the time the first couple days on the job getting it all prepped and demoed out. Then the electrician comes in, he does his part, and then the carpenter comes in after that and does his part with the walls and or the tile man from that point as well. Well, a little later in today's program, we're gonna get into the plumbing aspects of this particular project. But before we get into the plumbing itself, what I'd like to do is step back and explain to the homeowner how they should start that process, what they should expect when getting different estimates. Typically with an estimate, what we like to do is the customer calls us, we like to come out. I, I, it's very difficult over the phone to talk about it. I like to come out, get a measurement, so then I would know what products would fit so the right products go in. Otherwise, they're purchasing products maybe at a home center up front and not knowing if that product even works. Typical installation like a tub in an alcove, you need a tile flange on that. A lot of tubs are sold without that. Most homeowners don't know those items. That's where the professional comes into play on that kind of stuff. Okay, so, so your process begins with an estimate. From a homeowner standpoint, I have a better appreciation if I can see the end result. Can you do any drafting, any designing? Sure. Do I work with the designer there even before we get into the different products that we're going to select? Sure. What we do again on the estimate is uh, I come up with a written bid and then we have an in-home designer. She makes up the drawings, shows the customer this is kind of the idea that we have in mind. What we give a drawing of is the tile, what the tile may look like, a diagonal patterns, an alcove, those kinds of things that are going in on the job. Well, obviously a project like this, like you mentioned, pretty typical. A lot of people live in an older home, 40 years old, 50 years old. Sure. Great time to be investing in our homes and we're better than something you use every day in a bathroom. But that said, there are a lot of different products that make up a bathroom remodel. It's just not a new tub or a new toilet or a new sink. There's fixtures and there's a lot behind the wall. So let's look right. at the product selection process. As a homeowner, that can be overwhelming. You go to a big box store, there's all kinds but that's not necessarily the best place to be doing your shopping. That's correct. Typically, I give them an idea what products we've used and what have worked well for us in the past and experience from other jobs and other customers and what the going trends are. We offer cast iron tubs to fiberglass tubs, single handle faucets, 
brushed chrome, brushed nickel, those kinds of things. What valves are working the best, your Kohler's, your American Standard's, those kinds of products that have the ceramic valving. Same with the toilets, recommend what kind of toilets. We typically use a 1.2 gallon toilet. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of water in a toilet, but they are flushing the best today. We like to tell the customer which ones and then let them choose from that point. We start out at a certain price point, a medium price point, say, and give them other products to choose from in that same price point. No substitute for experience right. when you're That's hiring a professional. Key. And again, no substitute for getting the quality products. Just because you see the same name brand at a big box store versus a professional showroom Correct. like you guys have, doesn't mean they're the same durability, same longevity. That's correct. In fact, in most cases, the typical faucets that you purchase at a home center, the model numbers don't even line up to the model numbers that I can even purchase. They're bought specifically for the home centers. Well, so we do not install those faucets. Repair parts are very difficult to get. And again, working with a system like yours, very experienced, very definite step-by-step -step process, to me, I would think the homeowner can rest assured they're not going to be burdened with any up charges or something. Hey, we didn't know what was behind the wall. We got to charge them more. So therefore, if they're confident in that, they can buy higher end, longer lasting fixtures. Right. I am a plumber by trade, a master plumber, lots of years of experience. That's why I like to do the estimating because I know what's in the wall. I've seen all the stuff before. I've been around on these projects and other small service calls as well. Know what typically goes wrong or what the leak is caused from. That's why we like to send out that type of person to look at that job first. Yeah, well, obviously, with your company, you, you do several of these remodels on a monthly basis. Sure. You can't do all the work, but there's great peace of mind for a homeowner knowing that you've seen it all, you know what to expect, the price you say is the price they're right. going to get. Okay, quickly, and not to diminish it, it's very important to have the team in place. How do you go about selecting the different team members, whether it's the plumbers or the designers? Sure. Well, we do it a tad bit different maybe than other people. We have all the team members working for our company. We have our own carpenters, our own plumbers, our own tile men. And most of our guys are journeymen and or master plumbers, also journeymen carpenters and or journeymen tile setters. All been in the craft for a long period of time, all have union experience, all been trained by the proper facilities. That's why we like to bring them in to do this type of project. Boy, you get the best end result using experienced professionals. I mean, that's what Correct. we always say, and yes. we really believe it. Now, is it fair to say a project like this, it really does revolve around plumbing? Correct. It typically does revolve around the plumbing because you can run into other plumbing in the wall that might be for another bathroom on the back side of it. This particular house has a bathroom right on the other side of it. If I know already that that's there, then I know I can't move certain things. And with a master plumber's license, I have experience to know what the difference is. And the importance of that is that's because you're involved in the estimation process. That's why we say you're not going to be burdened right. with any unexpected expenses once the project begins. That's right. Well, I want to learn more about the different plumbing aspects in this particular project. I'll catch up with you a little later in the program. Great, thanks, Stuart. Building Wisconsin is made possible by the members of Plumbers 75, proudly serving their contractors and helping build Wisconsin for over 100 years. We all know the most basic form of life requires clean water to survive. On Earth, we need it to drink, cook, clean, and it touches just about every part of our quality of life. Here in Wisconsin, we appreciate the value of clean water even more as we live alongside the Great Lakes. Yet we often forget to think about how water gets to our homes, schools, and businesses, and then safely back to Mother Nature. Where does all the dirty water go? How is it fresh and clean every time we get a glass of water? Who makes this happen? The answer, plumbers. It's the plumbers who are trained, mentored on the job, and have progressed through a five-year education program that takes them from apprenticeship to a master of their trade. It's plumbers who are committed to a career and have been trained to protect the health and safety of our water system and make sure you never have to think about where it comes from and where it's going. Yes, we're fortunate here in Wisconsin to have an abundant supply of clean, fresh water. 
but even more fortunate to have a highly trained and committed workforce to keep and deliver it that way. Plumbers 75, supporting the plumbing trade in Southeast Wisconsin for over 100 years. From solving a problem with a water heater or clogged drain to remodeling an outdated bathroom, for nearly a century, the team of professionals at Borth Wilson have been helping homeowners throughout the Milwaukee area. Family owned for three generations, they offer same day service for plumbing repairs with exact quotes and guaranteed work. And when you're ready to remodel, let them help you with the design and construction of your new bathroom, kitchen, or even that lower level room you've been thinking about. Borth Wilson and Plumbers 75, proud to be building Wisconsin. For more information on Building Wisconsin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to watch additional episodes on YouTube or at our website, buildingwisconsintv.com. Dennis, this project looks like it's coming along nicely. Quite a change already from when I was in here with Don. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the first day of the project here. On the objective here is to get the old tub out and the new tub in, get the faucet in, the drain hooked up, and get everything up and running today. Boy, yeah, that's a testament to hiring a professional and somebody who's experienced to be able to do all this work in one day. Well, we have to get it all prepped and ready for the tile setter. He's going to be here starting tomorrow, getting the walls up, and we all kind of work together. Is this pretty typical on your day-to-day -day workload? Yeah, every job is different. I mean, you just don't know what you're going to find. You get to the job and it's a different tub, different situation, different walls. You got to think on your feet. Well, earlier we were talking to Don and he was saying that one of the keys to his success with Borth Wilson is that he's a master plumber. He comes out, does the estimating. He knows some of the challenges that you as the plumber on the project is going to encounter. It definitely makes a difference having a master plumber come in and do the estimate. They realize what I need to do when I get here and it just makes things a lot easier and smoother. And so uh, is this a pretty typical project for as far as bath remodels go? Actually this is a little different. This is a different style tub than we we're used to putting in just because it's a higher deep soaking tub. It's an ADA, it's got the door. It's a little bit different, a little more challenge. I like this, the ADA compliant. I mean yeah, it's really as nice. I, yeah. As I'm getting older, this is something that I definitely want to get easier. I don't have to worry about my bad knees stepping into the tub. It opens up. It's all yeah, they seem really to be nice. getting more and more popular. You know, it looked to me to be very challenging to remove the old cast iron tub. First, you have to do all the demo. Well, I mean, I've done so many of them. You just get into a, a routine where you know how to do it. You just pull the walls out in big sections and lift the tub up and out and carry it out. And... Do you ever? run into uh, homes where you can't remove that tub? I do, yeah. Sometimes we do have to break them. And that's not fun. You don't want the sharp edges and glass flying everywhere. So that's like the last resort, but we try to get it up in one piece. But most of them are like this, and, it, and it's fair to say that, as Don had alluded to, projects like this really revolve around the plumbing. I mean, sure, there's electrical, there's tile, there's drywall, painting, but it all revolves around the plumbing that goes into it? Yeah, absolutely. You got to have the plumbing figured out ahead of time. It, everything does revolve around the plumbing. Okay. What were some of the challenges you encountered here? Just because this is a bigger tub and deeper and it has the steel framing, we were not able to just drop it down on an angle like we normally would do. Oh, okay. So this one basically had to go in on a horizontal, like slide straight in. So we had to notch some of the studs. We also had to build up the floor to allow for the front skirt it has a removable skirt that goes all the way down to the floor and you can't tile right to that. Oh, and the skirt would fit right on here. Right. Why would it be removable? Well, you want access you to everything in access. here. You got access, yes. And so if you hadn't noticed that and you put it 
all the way down to the floor. When the tile comes up, you would have locked it in place, essentially. The tile sitter might not have noticed it and tiled right up to it. And later on, you'd want to try to move it and you wouldn't be able to pull the panel apart. A great case in point of an experienced professional. I think previously you had told me you've been doing this for 15 years. If you would have missed that, there would have been problems. You noticed it. Homeowner doesn't have to worry about that, and right. it's going to work just fine. So you just went ahead, built up that floor. Took care of it. Now it's ready to go, ready for tile. You just got to hook up the drain and put a new valve in. Okay, now it looks like you had to cut out the old drain from down below. Yeah, it was an old uh, steel trap, so we had to take that out. How often do you run into some unique plumbing or different styles or materials when you're working in older homes? More than you would think. You get a lot of interesting situations where you, you didn't expect and you end up cutting out more and it takes a little longer, but it happens on almost, a lot, you know, probably 50% of the jobs. It must keep your job interesting, it, it entertaining. Does. I mean, are you happy to come to work each day just because the, not only the challenges, but the unexpected? Right, something different every day. That's, that's the fun part about it. And you know, one thing I always marvel at, as old as the plumbing industry is, it continues to evolve. And you know, from a consumer selecting new products for a bathroom remodel, it can be overwhelming. But what about for you installing these new products? How can you keep ahead of the curve and make sure everything's being done correctly? We have continuing education classes that we are required to take through the state to keep our master plumber license. And if there's something that we need to learn about, they got classes at the Union Hall. Well, that's nice. It must be helpful to have the, the union behind you, helping you every step of the way. Absolutely. Uh, good yeah. peace of mind knowing that they're there to help you if any questions arise. It seemed rather choreographed to me. Do you find when you're working with all these different trades, it's really a lot of teamwork? Absolutely. Teamwork is key in this situation. Everybody pitch in, help Everybody the other guy. Pitch in. And you got to think about the next guy. What he's going to come in right after you, and you got to think about what he's got to do. You can't just, you know, leave it a certain way to make it easier for yourself. Okay, you said this is a, a pretty typical remodel, with the exception of some of the fixtures. How long does a project like this take? My end, the plumbing end, is going to be done probably a day and a half, two days. As far as the tile, every job is a little different. That's usually what takes the time, maybe a week two weeks sometimes. Wow, but that's pretty nice for a homeowner to know that if they go with the right company, someone who's professional, experienced, well, they can have an updated bathroom in, what, a week or two? Well, a lot of times a homeowner can't be without a bathroom, so they want their tub, and we try to get in with that same day, get the old tub out, new tub in, everything up and running in one day so they can use it that night. They won't be able to shower, but they'll be able to use a tub. No, it doesn't get better than that. On time, on budget, and with great peace of mind knowing that you're going to be able to stand behind the work that you've done. Right. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I don't want to slow you down anymore. I'll let you get back to work, and uh, homeowners are going to be elated with the end result, I'm sure. Thank you, Stuart. It's been my pleasure. One of our jobs at Plumbers Local 75 is to provide training for our members and our plumbers to when they go to work for a contractor, the contractor is assured that he has quality, consistent plumbers. They all go through the same five-year training program, five-year apprenticeship, and they come out with the same skill set. What that means to a homeowner is when they're hiring a plumber or a contractor to do their work, they know that those people are qualified, skilled professionals, they have the right experience and the right training. And today it's more important than ever to know who's working on your job. Do a little homework. Make sure when you hire someone to do a project in your home, the place you live every day and use every day, that you hire the best qualified professional people to give you the highest value for your dollar. Building Wisconsin is made possible by the members of Plumbers 75, proudly serving their contractors and helping build Wisconsin for over 100 years. We all know the most basic form of life requires clean water to survive. On Earth, we need it to drink, cook, clean, and it touches just about every part of our quality of life. Here in Wisconsin, we appreciate the value of clean water even more as we live alongside the Great Lakes. Yet we often forget to think about how water gets to our homes, schools, and businesses, and then safely back to Mother Nature. Where does all the dirty water go? How is it fresh and clean every time we get a glass of water? Who makes this happen? The answer, plumbers. It's the plumbers who are trained, mentored on the job, and have progressed through a five-year education program that takes them from apprenticeship to a master of their trade. 
It's plumbers who are committed to a career and have been trained to protect the health and safety of our water system and make sure you never have to think about where it comes from and where it's going. Yes, we're fortunate here in Wisconsin to have an abundant supply of clean, fresh water, but even more fortunate to have a highly trained and committed workforce to keep and deliver it that way. Plumbers 75, supporting the plumbing trade in Southeast Wisconsin for over 100 years. From solving a problem with a water heater or clogged drain to remodeling an outdated bathroom. For nearly a century, the team of professionals at Borth Wilson have been helping homeowners throughout the Milwaukee area. Family owned for three generations, they offer same day service for plumbing repairs with exact quotes and guaranteed work. And when you're ready to remodel, let them help you with the design and construction of your new bathroom, kitchen, or even that lower level room you've been thinking about. Borth Wilson and Plumbers 75. Proud to be building Wisconsin. For more information on Building Wisconsin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to watch additional episodes on YouTube or at our website, buildingwisconsintv.com. Welcome back to Building Wisconsin. I'm Stuart Keith, and you know, most of us don't think about the plumbing in our homes until a problem arises, and then who do you call? So in this segment, we're gonna follow along with Worth Wilson Plumbing on one of their daily service calls. What we have here is we have a water heater that sprung a leak last night. The customer had called our emergency line and said they had no hot water, went down the basement, discovered they had water leaking from the water heater. Boy, if I'm that homeowner, I'd be a little panicked. <laughs> You'd hear it in my voice calling, sure. going, boy, I need to get to work in the morning, kids off to school, I have no hot water. How do you handle a situation like that? Typically what we do is we talk to the homeowner, I answer the phone, I call them back, or one of my servicemen or master plumbers calls them back, instructs them how to shut the water off above, that the gas shut off will automatically shut off. There's not a worry about that. We try to get the water under control for them that evening and then try to schedule a service call for the next day. Now, not always does that happen, but that's what we like to do. Boy, I like that approach to it too, because you, you can probably save the homeowner money if you don't have to send somebody out in the middle of the night. Sure. And if you can put a Band-Aid at least on the problem to get them through to the next morning, that's gotta be nice peace of mind knowing they're working with an experienced professional who's looking out for their best interest. Sure, that's typically what we like to do. And there's a lot of other emergencies that crop up as well. Drain cleaning problems, people call the numbers and then we try to figure out if it's one drain, two drains, whether the sewer is plugged. Uh, toilets too, we get a lot of that. We ask them to shut the water up underneath it if at all possible. But I think the key for everybody is to know where the main water shut off is in the home. And if you have a well and or city water at a well, all you have to do is shut the switch off to the well or in the breaker box and that would shut the well down and shut all your water off. It's usually stop all issues and all problems in a home and then you can step back and think about it for a few minutes and we can get a service guy out either that evening if required and or the next day, which is preferred. Boy, that is great advice for a homeowner out there and should be taken to heart. Understand where your shutoffs are for That's your key. water whether you're on a well or on city water, because it sounds like in virtually any emergency situation, those are the first things you want to look at. Generally, when our servicemen are out, we like to tell the homeowner, the servicemen will walk through it with the homeowner at the end, especially in maybe a new homeowner is not that familiar with the home. Do you know where your water shut off? That's the first thing we like to ask after the job has been completed, so they know as well. Do I have to worry about the gas coming here? Typically on any gas water heaters, you have all safeties. You don't have to worry about the gas. Most people don't know that. They're worried the gas is going to fill up the home. But all heaters today, and even in the last 40 years, have had automatic shutoffs, where if the gas stops working because the water leaked on it, it will automatically shut off. We also have a sticker that we put on the heater that will say that information as well. 
Okay, let's take this situation. What are you going to do to remedy this? Well, typically on this type of an installation, this is a direct replacement. We're putting in the exact same style water heater, so attaching directly to the vent and using the same gas line over, we'd be cutting the copper and putting on new and replacing the valve in this situation. Okay, sounds pretty painless. They call you last night, panic in their voice. Correct. You can get out here and within 24 hours, it seems like they're going to be back up and running. Usually quicker than that. We try to get out to all water heaters and all those kind of emergencies. We handle the very next day. You know, you touched on a couple of the other calls you, you typically get. Sure. I mean, let's offer some tips and suggestions. You said know where your shutoffs are, but are there some other maintenance tips or some tips that you can give or share with homeowners out there? Again, I really like to have everybody know where the water shutoff is. With a water heater, you should know where the valve is above. Again, you don't need to worry about the gas. The gas will automatically shut off. With toilets, again, know where the valve is underneath it, okay? Drain cleaning, there's not much you can do that. It kind of just happens right at the, all at once. If it starts to get slow, don't wait till it completely plugs up, or then you plunge it and it backs up into the basement. You want to try to rectify that ahead of time. Boy, and you know, one thing I think I would add to that is, that's great advice, know where all the shutoffs are, but even more important, know who you're going to call, know what the professional is, because the sure. worst thing that could happen to you is you call somebody who's not experienced or is really, you know, not ethical. They're going to send somebody out there, and you don't know what type of work you're going to get. Those type of contractors usually want to come out immediately. They don't want to try to give you any advice. They don't want to tell you where to shut the water up. They want to be the person that takes care of that so they can charge you for those items. If they call the right person, that's the message you're saying, right. call the right company with experience, plumbers on right. staff, ones that care about your situation, you'll try to help them get through the night, Correct. save them money by not sending somebody out in an emergency unless you absolutely have to. Right. But then you can remedy the situation usually the next day. That's correct. We do run all journeyman plumbers and or master plumbers on all service calls, whether it be drain cleaning, sewer cleaning, and or water heater replacements, from the technical down to the not so technical stuff. Because if the sewer is backing up, there's usually a reason why. It's a broken joint, possibly some other problems. Same with a plug drain. Unless you drop the rag down it, there's other things that could be causing it. Maybe a trap is leaking. Then our guy can fix that right away, typically. He's got the parts in the truck. We take care of everything right there on the spot. One call, one contractor. Get the solution That's done what as we like quickly to do. as possible. Correct. Well, you know, it's been great on today's show, looking at the bathroom remodeling. It's been nice seeing how you handle service calls. And, you know, what I'm taking away from it, you get your best value working with an experienced company. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. The preceding program was sponsored by the Building Wisconsin Television Network.